Oh, hi there. Are you by any chance wondering who I am and what I'm doing here? Well, my name is Elwood Wahlberg and I am a geologist and I have spent many years in the mining industry. And what am I doing here? I'm checking out the rocks looking for signs of a possible mineral deposit. The following five words are common to the mining industry and deserve definition. Mine, noun, an excavation in the earth from which ore or minerals can be extracted. Mining, verb, to extract ore from the earth's crust in a safe manner. Our civilization can be defined by a document referred to as the Seven Metals of Antiquity. These seven metals are Gold, discovered around 6000 BC Copper When did the actual practice of mining begin? Author and historian John Temple can trace forms of mining back to 6000 BC, which is some 8000 years ago. These early mining techniques could be described as surface mining. Our early ancestors collected gold and copper from the Earth's surface and shallow riverbeds. As the human race... Let's just examine 20 important events and innovations that would not have taken place in our historical existence if mining, metals, and minerals had not been discovered. The Wright Brothers' historic flight. The Ford Model A automobile. Any pictures or the act of photography. The pencil. The sinking of the Titanic. Well, that's true. We will now take a look at the 20th century mining operations focusing on underground mining. We will take you to its discovery, its development, its production, and finally to its finished product. Our mine model will closely follow mining operations in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. We will break the process down into five easy steps. Step 1. Locating an ore body. This is where it all starts. In this case, it is in the Northern Ontario wilderness. Planes or helicopters fly over areas with high-tech equipment that measures the amount of electrical conductivity and magnetism of the rock for favorable rock types where ore is often found. The prospector also looks for signs of colorization, which can indicate where... Step two, diamond drilling. The name of the machine known as a diamond drill does not mean a drill that drills for diamonds, although it can be used for that purpose. The term diamond drill refers to the cutting bit, which is made of hard industrial diamonds. The diamond drill operations allow for the recovery of long, round, cylindrical samples of rock and ore. Step three, building a mine. When the size and shape of the ore body has the been established directly above the shaft, a tall structure known as the head frame is constructed. These tall structures are equipped with wheels or pulleys at the top for hoisting cables, sometimes called hoisting ropes, pass over from a nearby room called the hoist room. The cables attach to conveyances which are used to transport miners and equipment broken ore and rock in and out of the mine. Step four, mine operations and procedures. Following the completion of the excavation of the shaft, openings underground must be provided in order to mine the ore. This means that tunnels called drifts and crosscuts must be excavated from the shaft to gain access to the ore body. In the Airlines, ore body. electrical cable. It is from these openings that holes are drilled through the ore body, from one level down to the next, loaded with explosives, then blasted to do the initial breaking of the ore. 
the ore then, then drops by on. gravity through the ore passes to the crusher, which breaks the ore down to about a six inch dimension, which can be handled by conveyor belt, transported to bins and loading hoppers for hoisting to the surface. At the surface, the ore ends up in storage bins high up in the head frame. From these bins, the ore is loaded into large hauler trucks or railway cars. Step 5. Milling and Refining Large banks of rotating drums in the mill break the ore down to dust-sized particles. Flotation cells separate the salt. In this documentary, we have discussed the history and importance of the mining industry in today's world. We have very briefly introduced some concepts involved with the extracting of valuable minerals from the Earth's crust, and we looked very briefly at the milling and refining of these minerals. We hope this presentation will serve to educate and inspire especially young people to become actively involved in today's mining business. The ultimate challenge of the mining industry is to extract the raw ore from the Earth's crust, to mill and refine the ore to produce the finished product, and to be ever conscious of environmental concerns.